The man who walks with the devil says, I don't need to make a planning, huh? it's unnecessary. I can rather put my time in other things. I know what I have to do. I need to pray, read the Bible, and keep my time holy. He thinks that he doesn't need anything. He thinks that he can do it all by himself. But after a week, he falls off and stops doing it because he was too ignorant, thinking he can do this all by himself. But the man who walks with God, he knows that the devil is trying to take control over him and he protects himself from him. He makes a planning where he has planned all his things out that he needs to do so that he doesn't forget them. Even when the devil is trying to take control over his mind, be like the man who walks with God. I also was like the man who walks with the devil. I didn't make a planning. I thought that I could do all those things by myself. I thought that I could read the Bible. I thought that I could pray all by myself. But the devil took me over. I didn't do all these things. Let me tell you my story. In the country that I live in, we got two weeks off in May from school. And I've decided to visit my grandmother in those two weeks. I've always liked visiting my grandmother. But recently I found my purpose, theosis. And normally when I visit my grandmother, I relax do nothing like most people and relaxing in my case also meant not reading the bible not praying and not keeping my time holy this was a mistake i forgot my purpose in those two weeks that i visited my grandmother i did nothing my productivity was very low okay i get it i got two weeks off from school i don't have to work all day long but still it was wrong for me that i forgot to pray and read the bible my productivity overall was just very low didn't work on new videos, didn't keep my time holy. I just relaxed, did nothing. In those two weeks, I forgot my purpose. I was too focused on spending time with my family. Although that is a good thing, it can never distract you from your purpose. And in my case, it did. It distracted me. Therefore, I forgot to pray, read the Bible and keep my time holy. And I sinned because of that. This could all be avoided if I had made a planning. Normally, I always have a planning. I know what I'm going to do most hours of the day. But when I had those two weeks off, I couldn't follow that planning anymore. Because I had planned with school, this and that. And with two weeks off, we got no school. And because of that, I forgot my purpose. Theosis and I sinned. If I had made a planning for these two weeks that I got free from school, I would not have forgotten my purpose. I would know when to pray, when to read my Bible, when to work on new YouTube videos. In my case, I didn't know when to do that and I forgot about it. With the planning, I would not have forgotten that and I would do what I needed to do. I gave you an example of my fault. I did it when I got off from school. But I say to you, you need to do this, especially when you have school or work because then your mind is even more distracted from your purpose of theosis. Your mind is all thinking about school, work, this and that, leading you to quicker forget your purpose or not think about it at all. You probably say to yourself that you want to do all these good habits, reading your Bible, praying, keeping your time holy, but you realize that it is pretty hard to keep doing those things for a while. I certainly do. But when I have this military type of planning, having all the hours of the day planned out and know what I supposed to do, I will keep doing my habits more because I can't forget about them anymore. I will do them because I don't want to lose my streak, like in a video game or something. You've done your habits 20 days in a row and now one day you don't want to do it, your whole streak is gone. That is also a motivator for me. And even if I'm lazy and the devil has took over my mind with the sin of slot, I try to remember deep in my mind to follow this planning as best as I can. I made my planning so that it would be the best that I could do in that day. I made my planning not with the help of the devil, but with the help of Jesus Christ. So when you make your planning, please do it carefully and think good about it. Pray for it to God so that it would be the best planning that you can have. A planning without any sins. Your planning needs to be as holy as you can make it. Do not make your planning when the devil has took over your mind. Make your planning when God is in your mind. Another reason for you to make a planning. Your brain has a certain amount of, let's say, brain points that get refilled every day. Let's say your brain has a hundred brain points. Each time you think about something or you do something, you get minus five brain points. So when you think of unnecessary things, you will lose brain point unnecessary. When you use your brain for purposeful things, you would use your brain points more wisely. For example, with playing video games, you use your brain. With playing video games, you lose brain points. Those brain points are unnecessary lost. You can rather use those brain points by reading the Bible or spreading the word of God. Instead of wasting your brain points thinking on what you have to do when you have done your work, thinking, hmm, 
I've gone to the gym. What should I do next? Those are all brain points lost. Instead of wasting your brain points unnecessary, make a planning so that you don't lose your brain points unnecessary anymore. You will use a couple of your brain points for making that planning, but after a while, you would save more brain points. This is a good ROI return on investment. Now I will tell you how you should plan your days. I'm just going to show you how I plan my days and maybe you can take example for that. If you want to do it your own way, do your thing. I use this software called Google Agenda. If you want to use any other app, feel free to do it. Who am I to say what app you need to use? When I have a blank planning, first I'm going to plan all those things that have a certain time, like school, work, or boxing class, for example. Plan those things that have a certain time first. And then around that, plan the things that you can change the time of, like going to the gym, or praying, or reading the Bible. So first, plan all the things that have a certain time, and then around that, you can play with your activity that you can change the time of. I will plan all my days from Monday to Saturday. Sunday, I will keep empty, because then it is Shabbat rest day. On Sunday maybe I will do work, but only the work that I like to do. Work that doesn't feel like work. For example, I very like going to the gym, so I maybe go to the gym on Sunday. Or I very like to come up with video ideas, so on Sunday I would come up with video ideas. I would do work that doesn't feel like work, but maybe for you, you don't like going to the gym. It is different for everyone. Just do the things that you want to do on Sunday. Sunday is not without a reason. Rest day. Shabbat. Remember, Mark 2.27 And he said to them, The Shabbat was made for men, and not men made for the Shabbat. Try to plan your perfect day, but keep it realistic. Don't plan your days, 20 hours of work, 4 hours of going to the gym, and 4 hours sleep. You get my point. Keep it realistic. So, plan your perfect day, having 100% productivity. Productivity doesn't always need to be working, so it doesn't have to be 100% of working. Going to the gym, that is productive. Talking to your mother, that is productive. Going out with friends, that is also productive. Just don't plan things that would be sin. If you don't know if it is sin or not, just search up. Like, for example, is going out with friends sin? Just search that up on Google. I think watching TikToks is sin because that can be the sin of slut. When you are watching TikToks, you do it because of laziness. Slot. I also have a separate planning. A planning for a day that I would be free. Just in case I get one free day from school or something. You just never know when you are going to need it. So keep it ready. So, now you have made the planning. And your duty is to keep yourself to your planning as best as you can. You probably won't keep yourself to your planning. But still, think about it. If you keep yourself to your planning for 70%, your productivity will be almost always better then your productivity if you didn't have a planning. Even following 70% of your planning is a improvement. Making a planning is almost always a win. Your first planning probably won't be the best planning that you can make. So make changes to your planning if necessary. Your actionable step now is to make a planning as holy as you can and keep yourself to that planning. Make a planning, keep yourself to it and become a warrior of Christ. المسيح قام من بين الأموات ووطئ الموت بالموت ووهب الحياة للذين في قلوبهم المسيح قام